Hello, welcome to studentlearning.in, your e-learning buddy. Welcome back to our channel guys. If you are new to this channel, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to join the family. Data can be represented in various type of structures, formats and medias. Unstructured data refers to data with various entries that cannot be classified and fit into one simple model. In other words, Unstructured data is information that either does not have a predefined data model or is not organized in a predefined manner. Unstructured data is typically text-heavy, but may contain data such as dates, numbers, and facts as well. Structured data refer to data with a high level of organization. In other words, structured data is the data which conforms to a data model, has a well-defined structure, follows a consistent order and can be easily accessed and used by a person or a computer program. Structured data is usually stored in well-defined schemas such as relational database. In this video, we will give a quick overview on how to convert unstructured data to structured data. Now let's discuss how to convert unstructured data to structured data. So first of all, we have to import all essential libraries. First one is import numpy as np and second one import pandas as pd now second phase we have to import the current data set the data set name is health.csv csv is the format of the file then simply type df.add df.add means to print top 5 records of the current data set so you can see there are a number of columns and number of records and also you can see that there is a lot of discrepancies in column names and data set just like 1.name, 2.age, 3.gender, 4.social media, question mark. In terms of machine learning 1.2. question marks is not acceptable and in terms of data set there is lot of NAN values, no answer values, no answer, NAN, NAN. That means this kind of data set is unstructured. So our task is this unstructured data set is convert to structured data set. After that, we have to show how many records in the current data set. So simply just type print then the name of the data set and then format dot, format bracket rows equal to length bracket df this command means to print total number of rows in the data set you can see there are 170 rows in the current data set now next important task how to check a total columns and name of the columns then very simple just print df.columns with this command you can see there is a lot of columns in current data set like serial number submit time 1.h 2.h 3.h you can see there are a lot of columns in the current data set so first task that is to rename the columns of unnecessary columns like to remove question marks and one dot so we have to use rename command in machine learning that is very simple df dot rename columns equal to the old column name colon and the new column name and in place is equal to true true means this command is executed successfully similarly the second column name df dot rename bracket column equal to one dot age because we have to remove this one dot so one dot name is replaced by name the so second column is simply name similarly there is third fourth and all the columns there is lot of question mark question mark is not required in case of machine learning so we have to remove this question mark it's very simple for example there is a column number four four dot social media account question mark colon social media and place is equal to true that means with the help of this command you can remove 
or you can change the column names with new columns like you can just print you can see with the help of df dot columns names this is the value of new column names you can see the change is columns as number time name age gender is automatically changed now second is very important task of unstructured data that is there is lot of null values in the current data set so first we have to check how many null values in the current data set so simply type print df dot is null bracket dot sum with the help of this command we can check total number of null values in entire data set like serial number there are 85 columns null values column time there is 85 85 85 so you can see there is lot of null values in current data set right so again you have to print top 5 records of data set you can see there is zero and there is a null records and there are lot of null values it's very simple you have to remove all the null values in the current data set so just simply type df is a data source name df dot drop n a how any access is equal to zero with the help of this command you can remove all the null values of the data set you can check the execution of this command just type df dot add like this you can see there is no null records in the current data set that is already removed with the help of this command df equal to df dot drop n a bracket how is equal to single code any comma axis is equal to zero that means your another task is achieved now one more problem in the data set record number one there is no answer no answer no answer no answer there is a blank record so next task to remove this record is very simple df dot drop df add one index in place is equal to true with the help of this command you can remove first record of the current data set this is the output you can see record number one is removed right so this task is also achieved now you can see the null record is removed or not it is very simple you can again check print df is null dot sum and just enter you can see there is no null values in the current data set so first task is achieved record null values is removed blank record is removed column is renamed now next important task how to convert correct type of values into the numeric values for example there is a multiple type of values like in case in this data set there is a column the column name is gender and the values of gender is male and female but in terms of machine learning we have to convert this kind of values in the numeric values or in teacher values there is simple command just replace there is simple command that is a uh, yes just replace character data into integer data that means df dot the column name big bracket df dot gender equal to male equal to 2 and similarly female equal to 3 that means the value of male is replaced by 2 and the value of female is replaced by 3 right and then print just df dot enter you can see the result the gender value is already changed male is replaced by 2 and female is replaced by 3 so this is the basic concept to how to convert unstructured data to structured data. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave your questions in the comment section down below. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to Student Learning. Check out more courses from us and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, basically everywhere. The link is always in the description.
We will be back with more lectures. Stay tuned and have a good day. Bye.